In this video, we'll be going through step two, configuring the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener within the Smart Life application. The way we're going to structure this video is we're first going to go through the process very quickly, in actually under 90 seconds, just to show how easy the setup process really is with the eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller. Now if you do end up having any problems or you have any additional questions or would like to look at different connection methods, all you have to do is continue to watch the video and we'll go through each one of these configuration methods step by step. Before we get into the 90 second setup, it is worth noting that we already have a Smart Life account created and this is something that will need to be done to use the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener. Creating accounts is relatively simple and usually just requires a phone number or an email address. So without any further ado, let's get started. First we'll obviously open up the Smart Life application. We will log in, or if you don't have an account, we will sign up. Once we're logged in, we'll be greeted with several different notifications. On the right hand side, you can see some of the notifications that are more important than others. A couple of the notifications that must be allowed is the local area connection and the Bluetooth. Other ones like location or home data or different things like that could be useful but aren't necessarily required. Another one that we typically recommend is the notifications so that you can be notified if your door was opened or closed. Once you're logged in, you can plug in your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener. And depending on your device, you may get a solid red light like I have here or a flashing blue and red light. If your light is solid like mine, all you need to do is press and hold the reset button until the light goes out and then starts to flash. Once the light starts to flash, your device now is in pairing mode. And as you can see, oftentimes you will get a notification immediately letting you know that the device has been found. And this is because Bluetooth was enabled. If Bluetooth was not enabled, we would not get this notification. In this case, I can simply select add. I can type in my network credentials, select next, and it will begin to add the device. Once the device is added, you will be notified of the status of the device. You can select next, rename the device if desired, and you have now successfully added the eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener. Here we can test the eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener by placing the sensor next to it, which now the door indicates is closed, or we can remove the sensor, which would indicate or simulate the door being opened. And that was the 90 second configuration of the eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener within the application Smart Light. Now we'll move on to the in-depth part of the video where we'll be going through the exact same steps that we did previously, just explaining things a little bit better and running through that process once again if there were any questions. In this in-depth video, we'll be using an iOS device with iOS 15 loaded up in it. A couple of the things that need to be done before we get started uh, would be installing Smart Life, which can be very easily done by going to the App Store, searching Smart Life, and then installing the Smart Life application similarly as shown. Once you have Smart Life installed, you can then open Smart Life. If you do not have an account, you would want to select the Sign Up option. Under the Sign Up option, you can use a variety of different ways to sign up, including a Google account, an Apple account, or you could use an email address and or phone number. Since I already have an account, I will go back and simply hit Log In. Once you have signed up your account, you may be automatically logged in if you are not, you would simply log in here. Once you select log in and you are logged in, you will be met with a variety of different notifications. The first one that's shown is allow Smart Life to use your location. This can be really handy if you plan on using any type of location based alerts or you technically could set up your opener to open and close based specifically on your location. For this example, uh, you can use whatever you'd like. I typically use allow while using app. The next one is Smart Life would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. This is one of the permissions that is an absolute necessity. And so if you do not select OK on this one, if you select do not allow or don't allow, your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener device actually likely will not work. So this is an important one to select OK on. The next one is Smart Life would like to send you notifications. I typically select allow because I like to see when the doors are opened or closed. Um, now we have a notification that says Smart Life would like to send you critical alerts. 
Typically I select allow on this one and that's just so that they can send me alerts even if my device is in do not disturb mode. Again, that's totally up to your discretion. Smart Life would like to access your home data. At this point in time, I don't really use the home app. So I'm gonna select don't allow. I can always enable that later if desired. This is the other setting that we would say is an absolute necessity, and that is Smart Life would like to use Bluetooth. The reason is because the eCart with Smart Garage Door Opener will use Bluetooth to make the connection process simpler. If you don't enable Bluetooth, you still can set up the eCart with Smart Garage Door Opener. There's just a few different steps. So in this case, I will select OK. Now that I'm at this screen, I can select Got It to make that initial start screen go away, and I will now plug in my eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener. Once your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener is plugged in, you should get either a flashing blue and red light, or like I have a solid red light here. If your light is like mine, solid red, I am going to press and hold the reset button. What this will do is it will put the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener into a pairing mode. Here you can see that the light has gone out and now it started flashing. Once the light starts flashing, it is now in a pairing mode and as you can see on the phone, it has actually picked up the device waiting to be added. In this case, all I need to do to add the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener is select Add, type in my Wi-Fi credentials, and once I have the credentials in, I can simply select Done and Next. What this will do is it will push the credentials to the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener from your device and allow your eCairo device to connect up to your Wi-Fi so that it can be accessed at any time that is needed. Once it has been added, you'll get a notification of the current state of the garage door opener. You can select Next. You can change the name if desired. In this case, I'll leave it the same. You can select Done, and now you can see the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener has successfully been added. We can test this by taking the magnetic sensor and placing it close to the wired sensor. And here you can see the garage door has been indicated as closed. If I pull that sensor away, you can see that the garage door has been indicated as open. So this is the easiest way to connect your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener. However, if it did not auto connect or you did not get that option, no problem. There are additional ways to connect your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener that we will be detailing out next. In the event that you've put your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener into pairing mode, the light is blinking and you're not getting any sort of indication on your phone that there's a device trying to pair, you can simply select the plus button in the top right hand corner go to add device and on the top you can see a couple different options here you can see that it is searching for nearby devices and then you see an add button below that in this case I can select the add button and now I can see that eCaro smart garage door opener shown there I can select it to begin the pairing process just as we were looking at previously Now we are going to look at a method of adding the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener if the auto scan methods didn't work for you previously. This method is known as the AP method and it's where the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener will actually broadcast a Wi-Fi where your phone will connect to it and then you can pass the credentials to the device. So here you can see I have the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener blinking and if I hit the plus icon in the top right hand corner, select add device. I get the normal indication that there is a device looking to be added, but in this case, I am not actually going to add it. Instead, what I'll do is under the electrical or electrician or potentially electrical engineering category, I will go down to the garage door opener. The one that I'm going to want to use in this case is the garage door opener BLE plus Wi-Fi. So I'll select that. Here you can see it gives several simple instructions, and the first one is to reset the device first. So I will press and hold the button on the top of the device to reset the device. In this case, since my device was already blinking quickly, it is now blinking slowly. If the device LED is blinking in one way or the other, and you press and hold the reset button, it will switch to the opposite way. So as I said previously, it was blinking quickly. I pressed and held reset, and now it is blinking slowly. And that's perfectly fine. On my phone, I will select the next button and it then asks me for the status of the indicator light. In this case, as I said previously, it is blinking slowly. So I'll select that. Next, it'll ask you to verify that you are on a 2.4 gigahertz network. There's a couple different ways that you can tell, but one of the simple ways is to check if your Wi-Fi router is actually broadcasting two separate SSIDs. 
in this example, you can see that this network is the normal 2.4 gigahertz network, and this network is the five gigahertz network. If this was the case, you'd wanna make sure that your phone was simply connected to the non-5G network, which would be the 2.4 gigahertz network. As a note, the reason the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener uses the 2.4 gigahertz network is because the 2.4 gigahertz network actually has about three times the range of a five gigahertz network and does not require the bandwidth that five gigahertz networks provide when compared to the 2.4 gigahertz network. So in my case, since I am connected to only a 2.4 gigahertz network, I can simply put in my credentials and select next. Here you can see that it is showing me that I will need to connect to this device's hotspot and then it will pass the credentials to the device. So I'll select go to connect. I will go to my Wi-Fi and I will look for the Smart Life device. In this case, you can see down here, I have Smart Life 4827. Upon selecting that, it will connect up to Smart Life 4827, and then I will go back to the Smart Life application. Once I go back to the Smart Life application, it starts searching for that specific device. Once it finds it, it allows it to pass the credentials to it, and then that device gets connected up to my network and added to the Smart Life application. Here you can see the device was added. I can select done. And now I have the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener connected. And I can test it by moving the sensors in or out. There you can see it was closed. And I can also push the trigger button at the bottom and I should hear a clicking from my eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener, which is the relay. In this video, we went through how to configure the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener within the Smart Life application. We first showed a 90 second overview of how you can quickly perform this process and how simple it really is. After that, we moved into a more detailed overview of how to complete it through the auto scan method. And then we moved on on how to complete it through the Wi-Fi mode or previously known as AP mode. Hopefully through one of these methods, you were able to add your eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener within Smart Life and are able to work smarter, not harder with your now Smart Garage Door Opener.